Hey guys and girls, so we've got um, another sort of starter kit to have a look at, and this is the basic starter kit for an Uno. Um, it's uh, Arduino Uno. It's uh, quite a cool little package, to be honest. It's by Eligu, um, and they've sent this over for us to have a look at, which is pretty cool. So let's do uh, sort of an unboxing and see what we got in there for contents wise, and then we'll have a go at doing the first, get the software set up in the first lesson. So what have we got? We got a little thank you card for getting it. We have the the Arduino itself, Uno R3. We have a USB cable. We have some resistors, I think. No, not the resistors. Uh, what are these? So it shows my expert knowledge, doesn't it? Resistors, that's the word I was looking for. Some resistors. Da -da. Did I say resistors? I'm sure I said resistors. I don't know, it's been a long week. Had Ofsted in this week, that was fun. As always. Da -da. Cool, quite a few of those. Uh, little contents. We have some DuPont cables, male to female. We have some more DuPont cables, males to males. Some LEDs. We have, oh, what have we got here? So we've got a buzzer, buttons buttons Ooh. and we have the breadboard solderless breadboard let's take a quick look mm -hmm. yeah standard breadboard that's quite cool okay so let's get started so we're going to start by getting the um Arduino software installed and then having a go at getting uh, the first sort of a first program running. Um, ah, we also got what we got here. I'm guessing this is the what's be the software. Mm -hmm. PDF code and libraries. Hmm, that would be useful if I actually had a CD ROM drive. Which I don't. We are going to go to arduino.cc. Uh, we're going to go to the software and then downloads. And we need to download the Arduino IDE. There's several different ways you can do this depending on what platform you're using, whether you're on Windows, Mac, or Linux. Uh, I'm on Windows 10 at the moment, so I could do it via the app or I could do the installer. I'm going to do the installer. Um, do you want to contribute? You can contribute if you want, or you can just download. So I'm just going to download the software. Shouldn't take too long to download, depending on what internet connection you have. It's better than we had dial up, that's for sure. Right, so once it's downloaded, you downloaded, you can just click the installer and it should run the EXE. Click yes, if it brings a pop-up up. up. Uh, and then click I agree. Make sure all these are ticked and click next and install. Okay, and it shouldn't take too long. A couple of seconds. So let's minimize this. Okay, if you haven't run um, an Arduino on your system before, uh, it may at this point ask you if you want to install drivers. Um, just follow the uh, prompts or look at the instruction manual that comes with the Arduino starter kit on the PDF and uh, yeah, just follow those instructions. I've used an Arduino before. I used one to burn um, the firmware, to flash the firmware to my Ender 3 in one of my previous videos. So the drivers are already installed. Okay, so that's installed the Arduino software. So I can bring that up. Okay, let's maximize that. So this is the Arduino IDE. So. 
uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure it connects so um, if I show you uh, let's see so I've connected the the Uno to the PC but we need to make sure it actually connects so what we need to do is find out what COM port we're on so I'm going to bring up my control panel and just go to device manager and then under device manager under ports uh, you should see Arduino Uno on one of your COM ports. So mine's on COM4. Okay, so close those down. Come back here. So to set the COM port, what we can do is go to, uh, let's see, tools, port. And then we want to go to COM4 Arduino Genuine Uno. And we're going to select the board, make sure the board's the right board, which it is the Arduino Genuine Uno. And you can check that down here in the left-hand corner, it will say. Okay, so we can try connecting to the to the Uno just by clicking the serial monitor up the top, and then that's should, that's fine. If that comes up, that's all good. Otherwise, you'd get an error down here that says the the Uno's like you can't. It's not not able to talk to it or anything. Um, make sure your board rate's at nine six hundred, and you want to make sure that auto scrolls ticked. Okay, and that's all good. Um, we're going to install uh, some extra libraries, so uh, it's like a code repository. So we're going to go to uh, Tools, Manage Libraries, and it bring up the Library Manager. And we want to install the Bridge Library. So just search for Bridge and click there. Select the version you want to install. Newest version 1.7 and just install. Okay, and then that says installed. Click close. So um, the the bridge library is uh, really good for sort of connecting like devices like LEDs and um, things like that. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to switch over and show you the Arduino Uno. Okay, so this is the Arduino Uno, and as you can see, um, when it's plugged in, there's a little light on it, the L. LED light okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of programming we're going to adapt one of the example sketches one of the ex example pieces of code to make the little LED flash faster so I'm going to leave that here for a second it just so you can see sort of how fast that is flashing so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to uh, we want to go to file examples and then we want to go to basics and you want to go to blink okay and that's going to open an example sketch okay so we've got an example sketch here and what this does is basically it tells the tells the Arduino how fast to blink the little LED, L LED which is on the board. So uh, anything with a forward slash forward slash is a comment. So this is a bit of um, text that doesn't affect the program when it's run. And anything else is code. So what we're interested in is down the bottom here, which says, um, which is these four lines of code here. So it tells it to turn the LED on. Um, it will then have a delay and then it will blink. So this is in milliseconds. So what we can do is we can get the LED to, to blink faster just by adapting these and halving the time. So we'll do that and we'll upload. Now, if we wanted to save this, um, we, we technically, we need to create a copy because the examples aren't, they're in read only. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go file, save as and we'll save it as um, uh, blinking and we'll click save okay and then we'll upload that to the Arduino okay so that's compiling the sketch you can see down the bottom it's now uploading it to the Arduino and it's done uploading so that's now going to be blinking faster so we'll switch over to the um, other camera and we'll check that out okay so that's blinking a little bit faster 
So what we can do is let's, what I'll do is I'll change it now and we'll change it to say uh, 100 and see if we can get it blinking really, really quickly. And I'll do that while the camera's on it so as you can see it. And there we go. So straight away we can start messing about with the board and getting it to do some different things. We can even make it blink sort of faster than that. So we could go down to 50. So I'll change those two down to 50. And again, we'll upload that. You can see that's resetting and there we go. Or we could make it really slow and we could go to two, put it at 2000 milliseconds. And I'll upload that. Board will reset. And we can see that it's going super slow. Okay, so that's it for the, the first video on the Arduino Uno basic starter kit from Elegoo. Uh, remember to hit that subscribe button. We're gonna have a few other videos on uh, the Uno, on setting up some of the LEDs, uh, using some of the buzzers and uh, how to use the breadboard. So come back, check those out. Uh, any questions, comment below. Remember to like the video because that really helps me out. So three things you need to do. You need to subscribe, like, and comment. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you like the video. Come back next time.